You probably know this guy for his fancy footwork on the hit shows Dancing with the Stars, and so you think you can dance. Louis Van Amstel is a three-time world dance champion, and he has danced with dozens of lovely ladies. But if you ask him which one he's most proud of, he just might surprise you when he says his mom. And no one is more important than mom. So when she was diagnosed with a painful joint disease, osteoarthritis, he developed a few new moves to help her and others better manage their discomfort. And Louie joins us now to share a few of them with us. Louie, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me on your show. So Louie, osteoarthritis is, is one of the most common diseases that affects a lot of people. Uh, why did you feel like it was so important for you to get involved in, with the Making a Move program and do something for your mom? It's very important. Well, like you said earlier, uh, my mom got diagnosed with osteoarthritis many years ago and how I saw how it pretty much uh, emotionally, it really, it made her depressed. Yeah. And she is always the life of the party. And I thought, you know what, being part of Dancing with the Stars since day one, I'm known as a dancer. Mm -hmm. So what better way to help my mom and everybody else uh, by creating dance routines. So, so I'm very excited and also I felt compelled to do this Making Your Move campaign with Endo and HealthyWomen.org to get everybody more active. So how does dancing help? Dancing helps. The best thing about dance is that you are not realizing you're working out. You are dancing to music, oftentimes your favorite music, and it really strengthens your muscles. And when it strengthens your muscles, it takes away the pressure of your bones. Oh, okay. And also, dance, the added benefit of dance is that you lose weight. And again, less weight, less pressure on your bones. Makes so much more sense then, doesn't it? Louis, can you show us some of the moves? You can do the disco, you can do the salsa, the jive, and the lindy hop. All, uh, all particular body parts are being moved right now. You see the disco and the shampoo, and these are all fun movies. You do it with a smile on your face, and that is what we want. Make people happier so they really lose weight, less pressure on the bones, like I said before. And also on healthywomen.org, there's a lot of tips what people can do other than dance, but always go to your physician because he or she knows best. Makes you feel good and everything works better too. How is your mom doing? She is great because she is, uh, my dance fitness program, La Blast, she is doing that three, four times a week when she can. And she's happy, but also she's happy because she's losing weight. So her uh, body is shrinking and she loves that part too. Wonderful. Louis Van Amstel, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. I can't let you go though. Let me, let me ask you what it was like working, with, working on Dancing with the Stars. To take a celebrity who has no dance experience and then teach them a few moves, and then to see how they actually inspire the nation. Like Kelly Osborne, when I had her in season nine, that chemistry we had, she changed my life and the effect that she had on people. And I believe that she single-handedly made half America dance. And that's what we're doing with this campaign, Making Your Move. Get America to dance again and really make people happy. So how was So You Think You Can Dance different? Well, it's different because with So You Think You Can Dance, you actually are working with very talented dancers. The difference is that if you get a ballet dancer or a hip hop dancer and they have to do ballroom dancing, oh. you, you're starting a whole, new, <laughs> a whole new ball game. And it's very exciting to see how hungry these dancers are because this is really the launch of their career. Yeah, Louis, thank you so much. Have you got any other favorite dancers besides your mom? Yeah, well, my mom and my grandmother, who also <laughs> unfortunately had osteoarthritis. So I'm kind of worried too. So I keep active myself because I don't want to get it. And I'm in my early 40s, so I don't want to get osteoarthritis either. Just be proactive. Louis Van Amstel, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Now, if you would like to learn more about the Make Your Move campaign, all you have to do is go to delmarbalife.com and click on the show tab. Now let's check in with Lisa with more on the disease. Well, Louie seems like a lot of fun, but his mother and grandmother are just two of the millions of people who have osteoarthritis, or OA. 
the Arthritis Foundation reports 27 million people have the disease. Would you know if you were developing it? Well, the Arthritis Foundation says symptoms develop gradually. Look for sore or stiff joints, particularly in the hips, knees, and lower back, and especially after inactivity or overuse. You may also experience stiffness after resting that goes away after movement. Another symptom may be pain that is worse after activity or toward the end of the day. The foundation says OA may also affect the neck, small finger joints, the base of the thumb, the ankle, even the big toe. Now, people with osteoarthritis may experience pain that's moderate or it may come and go. Some people have no problem performing daily tasks, though, although others do. Things like walking, climbing stairs, even sleeping may become difficult. As for a cure for the disease, there's none. But the Arthritis Foundation says there are medications that can help relieve the pain. Also, certain lifestyle modifications may provide some relief from OA. Now, the Arthritis Foundation says staying physically active is one thing you can do, as too little movement can lead to stiffness and weak joints. Another key, maintaining a healthy weight. In fact, the Foundation reports losing one pound can take four pounds of pressure off your knee joints. A nutritious diet, managing stress, and plenty of rest can also go a long way in helping you manage osteoarthritis. And if you'd like to read more about osteoarthritis or if you'd like to download a free app that can help you manage the disease, go to delmarvalife.com and click on the show tab. Well, something else that can really improve your well-being is making sure you get plenty of rest. But what you sleep on can actually affect your health memory foam or inner spring, we learn what to look for in a mattress so you can get a good night's sleep. But next, this woman probably had a few sleepless nights after posting a picture on the internet of a mountain lion she hunted, why she became the target of many groups. Plus, we talk about cyber safety all the time, but now there's a new way criminals are even using baby monitors to access your information. We'll hear more about this disturbing trend. But first, we just talked about osteoarthritis. Dr. Oz has more on what can raise your risk of developing the disease. Hi, I'm Dr. Oz. By age 85, nearly half of us may develop osteoarthritis. Low impact exercise can improve bone density. High impact exercise can actually raise your risk of osteoarthritis. If you're already experiencing pain, talk to your doctor and consider taking anti-inflammatory medications daily.